Daredevil issue 7 sees the injured Cole North tell two of his fellow detectives that he was attacked by some other detectives from the precinct and some of the Owl's men gun them down, telling him that the Owl is happy with him getting rid of Daredevil. Cole expects the surviving detectives to be arrested for what they did, but his partners aren't sure that's a good idea, but he tells them to do the job no matter what. The Owl meanwhile meets with Fisk in a bank that they have broken into. Fisk reassures him and the others that he has gathered that they never broke in, that he He's actually friends with the CEO of the bank and they are going to use the vault so that they are protected during the meeting and no one can hear what happens next. The meeting eventually begins after some bickering between Hammerhead and Odan and talk turns to Daredevil returning which means that them paying off the cops won't be worth anything now, especially with another vigilante at hand. Foggy meanwhile demands to know if the daredevil running around is Matt, but he reassures his friend that he isn't, and it's either a copycat or something just to sell papers. Matt tells his friend that he is done with that life now and wants to focus on his new career. He gives Foggy his birthday present, shocking Foggy since Matt never remembers his birthday. Opening the gift, Foggy can't believe that he got him a first edition of one of his favourite books. Because of that, Matt is reminded of the book bookstore owner that helped him and how he can't stop thinking about her. Realising that he is late for work, Matt takes off as Foggy says that he should come back to practicing law but Matt isn't interested. At the parole office, Matt is giving one of his new cases, but his boss is sorry that they haven't been able to put them in braille yet. However, his computer can read aloud the files. Matt, however, doesn't want that to happen since his time in court defending people has helped him learn a few things since saying a person's crimes out loud are very different from reading that and he doesn't want the person who he's seeing to hear that. Meeting with his new case, he learns the young man has recently had two job interviews, but learns they went bad for him. Man says they he needs to make money for his mother, which is why he started selling drugs and his brother pulled some robberies to pay the rent in the first place. Matt says that he will need to report his brother for what he just said, but the man doesn't care since his brother is actually dead now because the daredevil killed him. Hearing this, Matt begins to lose focus on the man's story, running out of the room as his heartbeat gets louder and louder. Fisk's meeting meanwhile continues to discuss the re-emergence of daredevil, but Fisk knows it's a copycat as the real daredevil is is dead and he knows it's not the real one because he feels nothing towards this person now. Fisk says that he is stepping down, making his fellow criminals surprised since it means their operations will be thrown into disarray without a mayor in their pocket. Fisk reassures them he isn't stepping down as mayor, but as a criminal, as he's going to dissolve his criminal empire. He will retain some of his people for the odd errand, but everything else will be split evenly between the owl and the other people in the room. He will also continue to make things run smoothly for for the criminals as long as they keep their payoffs coming and that they maintain a peace between one another. Leaving he says that the city is his but beneath the city now all belongs to them. At church Matt meets with sister Elizabeth telling her that he needed some air from work. He tells her that he's being haunted by the ghosts of his previous sinful life and the violence from them seem to be monstrous now. The sister asks if he has asked for forgiveness but Matt says that he hasn't and can not, since he doesn't deserve God's love thanks to using him as an excuse for the violence he wrought on people for so many years. Elizabeth says that Matt isn't special and that his self-loathing doesn't make him an exception to God's love. He's always there to help. She tells him the story of Paul seeing Jesus after having murdered some Christians and the vision leaving him blinded and Matt thinks that God blinded him so he wouldn't see the vision he was sending him. Fisk meanwhile learns from Wesley that the deal he left with the other criminals was taken, but Fisk wants to keep a close eye on Leland Owsley during the transition. Wesley suggests that they take the pull out slowly, but Fisk wants it done immediately. He tells Wesley that he has grown content, and to be content is to be dead, and today with Daredevil dead, it's time to start a new, larger game. Elsewhere in the city, a group of women try and rob another group, leading them to both get into a violent brawl. Both groups, however, are attacked by the new Daredevil and as they fight, Matt calls it in to the police, reporting the fight to them. Hanging up, he calls again, reporting another crime across town. 
using his powers to hear all of the crime in New York and report them to the police. Daredevil issue 7 continued to explore a hell's kitchen without Daredevil and what happens to the hero when he disappears. I love the two parallel stories of Matt dealing with his new job, finding an emptiness without Daredevil but not wanting to go back because of all the violence he wrought, while Fisk also feels an emptiness after winning over Daredevil, so much so he gives up his entire criminal empire, which is a huge change in his status quo. I'm very much looking forward to seeing unravel over the next few issues and if it affects other issues like stuff in Spider-Man and Punisher. I'm also eager to see more of Matt's problems now that he isn't Daredevil and how he deals with them and I like the little tease at the end here how he's still technically working but he's using it in a more citizen's approach where he's calling the police and using his powers to tell them where the crimes are. I think that's pretty awesome. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.